Hi, I'm Mark Gingrass. I'm going to show you a quick trick in R to help troubleshoot your code with a friend. So I work at an environment that there's a couple other coders that actually know how to manipulate R. And when you run into trouble, you want to send them like your code, like some messy code, copy and paste it over to them through an item IM. But the problem is they don't have your variables. They don't know your data frame, what it looks like. So how do you send that? Oh, well you can email them the CSV file and show them how to do it or give them your whole file. Or you can use what they call dput. And I'll show you how to use that right now. It's gonna be one of those helpful things that you're gonna use for the rest of your life and you're gonna be, you're bummed out you didn't learn about it sooner. So let's let's get to it. Let's create some data. Uh, I'm gonna use the uh, MT cars examples. So we create a data frame called my data. Let's take a quick peek at it. So here it is. It's got a bunch of rows, a bunch of columns. It's not that big, but imagine you had, you know, 50,000 rows and, you know, 35 columns. You don't want to send that around everywhere. But you want to give your friend or your coworker a little bit of um, something to work with or Stack Overflow when you're posting uh, uh, reproducible results. So this is key for Stack Overflow. If you don't actually send a reproducible um, uh, results, then they're not going to help you that much. So let's get to it. Um, Let's pretend this was 100,000 rows or something like that, and we only want to capture maybe the first, you know, 15 rows or something. Or let's go with the first five so we can kind of display it better. So let's just let's just call it my data equals. Well, we'll call it my data compressed is equal to my data, and we're just going to do the first, like I said, five observations. Okay, so my data compressed is five observations of 11 variables. There it is, nice and neat. You can definitely do some aggregations and some uh, text manipulation to see if things are work. But how do I send this to my friend now if I'm trying to figure something out? I say, well, I'm trying to do something with this data frame, blah, 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 and I can't do it. Well, let's send this data frame to him through an, I through an email or IM without all the hassle of trying to send CSV files. So that's when we use the dput. You can literally, you can do it in here, but you might as well just do it down here in the uh, console and just type in dput and put in my data compressed and I'll show you what it outputs a bunch of words that look like it's kind of hard to replicate but here's how you replicate it you copy anywhere from structure all the way down to the end no matter how big it is copy that so it's on my clipboard right now I'm gonna go ahead and clear my variables I'm going to delete all my variables. I think this should still work. So as you can see, I've got no environment variables. I'm going to delete all this. And let's pretend that somebody just pasted this over through an IM and they said, hey, reconstruct that for me. And I'll say, reconstruct it. That's just my variable name. Let's not kid ourselves here. And then literally just paste. And then hit your enter key. And it reconstructs it. Let's take a look at this reconstructed data frame looks just like I had. Pretty awesome. Now, granted, if there's decimals or um, a lot of uh, floating point numbers, you're only going to get approximates. But this will get you pretty far, and it'll definitely help in collaborations for troubleshooting. So that reconstruct is now a variable that is just like the other variable I sent. Now, instead of calling the other variable um, a new variable name called compressed like before, you could have just um, used dput and actually just put 1 colon 5 comma. But I wanted to kind of make it really clear and uh, con clear and uh, concise for you all. So, anyways, hope this helps and uh, happy coding.